Censorship. A hindrance to any form of expression, censorship has long been a controversial topic in the music industry. Yet despite its ongoing debate, many are still divided. In the early 80s, Tipper Gore, the wife of then-Senator and later Vice President Albert Gore, bought her young daughter the soundtrack to the R-rated movie Purple Rain. At first, everything seemed okay, but once track 5, Darling Nikki, began to play, Gore said she was stunned, then she got mad. Luckily, her daughter didn't understand the references in the song, but after hearing it, Tipper decided she needed to do more research on the popular songs that the children of America could be hearing. Her friends, other wives of influential D.C. politicians and business owners, experienced the same problem. Susan Baker told Newsweek she didn't have a clue that her seven-year-old would be exposed to inappropriate songs. Thus, the Parent Music Research Center was born. According to Tipper, they aim to inform the public of the growing trend in music towards lyrics that are sexually explicit, excessively violent, or glorify the use of drugs and alcohol. Their execution, however, was far more intense. On the other side of the coin were the artists and companies targeted by the PMRC during their tirade against so-called porn rock. And while not immediate, the subsequent stand Frank Zappa, John Denver, Dee Snyder, and other artists took against the PMRC saved the music industry. The PMRC held the view that rock and heavy metal music contributed to the growing trend of rape and suicide between the age of 16 and 24 over the past three decades. In order to combat this, they made a statement requesting that record companies either cease the production of music with violent and sexually charged lyrics or develop a motion picture style rating system for albums. The idea of record labeling so parents would be alerted when there was graphic material. Why are parents and teachers and doctors concerned about graphic lyrics in young children? There's a way to deal with that with respect for freedom. There's more to this plan, though, that artists like Dee Snyder, Frank Zappa, and John Denver believed would endanger their freedom. The Parents Music Resource Center released a list of demands, including print lyrics on album covers, keep explicit covers under the counters, establish a rating system for records similar to that for films, establish a rating system for concerts, reassess the contracts of performers who engage in violence and explicit sexual behavior on stage, and establish a citizen and record company media watch that would pressure broadcasters not to air questionable talent. They also released a list they called The Filthy 15, 15 songs that demonstrated the type of music that they wanted banned. On this list were songs like We're Not Gonna Take It by Twisted Sister, Into the Coven by Merciful Fate. And of course, Darling Nikki by Prince. After the release of those lists, the PMRC had solidified their place in media coverage and in some cases became a household name. The members traveled the country giving press conferences and talking to other concerned parents about how best to help their children.